And we're live back at Swap Media Day. We got Coach Maynard from Alabama AM on the hill. Coach Maynard, thank you for joining us. Welcome back to Swap Media Day. How you doing? Thanks for having me, man. Uh, great to be back. Great to be back. Go oh, man, I got a question. Oh, man, I got a question. Hold on, let me bring it One, I want to say, uh, it's been, it's been an honor to watch your coach. coach. Not, not just uh, uh, your coaching uh, style, uh, but I guess you say how the players respond to you and stuff. How do you find a way to just relate to your players and everything? Uh, it's, it's getting tougher and tougher, man. Yeah, you know, when I first started in 2000, uh, as a quarterback coach and then OC and then 2010 as a head coach until now, uh, I can't coach them the same. I, I have a couple ex players on my staff, even one from 2000. I got one from 2010. I got two from 2010. So uh, they tell the players all the time, man, coach got soft, man. Coach, coach got soft. So, uh, but I, I haven't got soft. I just adjusted yeah. the new age players. So you bring back pretty much your whole offensive line. Can we see kind of a, a more of a commitment to the run game this year, or you you know the old quarterback and you still want to edit that thing out? Well, you know we got a philosophy. We play to our strengths and the defense weaknesses. Yeah. So we're gonna try to hand Donovan the ball. If they try to stop that by putting seven eight in the box, you know of course they're gonna force us to yeah. throw the ball, and we're gonna throw the ball. Uh, we'll max protect and throw the ball, take our shots on our one on ones down the field. Uh, if they're gonna sit back and keep. Uh, five and six in the box, and we're going to try to run the ball with Donovan and play our strength with our offensive line. So it's not rocket science. I tell people that all the time. It's play to defense, we just play to your strengths, man. Don't ask your kids to do stuff they can't do. Yeah, yeah. And so that's one of the reasons I've been successful for so long is because I'm not trying to ramp in the wheel. Just playing to my strengths. Coach, recruiting, very important to any team. What is your recruiting philosophy in the new age uh, world where you got the transfer? Do you, do you go transfer or do you go high school? Do you go high school? And well, we do both. Well, we do both. We do both. We, we try to get some high school kids and develop them. Uh, and then we go then we go to transfer portal. And, but we try to do our homework, uh, uh, talk to the coach. And uh, we want guys that play, guys that got stats. Um, if they don't have stats, they haven't played. You know, what I tell them is, look, I would love to have you, but uh, you, you haven't played. You don't have any stats. So if you want to come here and prove yourself and earn your money, you can. But I can't give you money because the new rule in the transfer portal is whatever kid you take, you have to keep mm -hmm. for the duration of his eligibility. So if I take a guy that's a sophomore, I got him for three years. Yeah. And that means he didn't play his freshman year there. It might be a reason why he didn't. Play. Yeah, you're taking so that risk. I've with him for three years, and he still can't play. Yeah. So I'm not gonna roll the dice like that. Uh, I got to make decisions what's best for for this program, and that's not a good decision when I'm taking a guy that got three years left and he ain't played, and then he come to me and he can't play, yeah. and that's that's three scholarships gone. Yeah. And so that's where we are with the portal, and then my guys, and you know, like HBCUs, a lot of times we have to take guys and develop. Them. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not quite there, don't they're not a five star, three star, four star that you don't have to develop those guys. Those guys know how to play, you don't have to teach them anything. So, we got to get the guys that's not the stars, develop them, make them into two stars, three stars, and then guess what? Then the portal come in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we kind of like kind of catch 22 situation right now where when we get good players that's got eligibility, up, they go on the court, yeah, and go for the go for the glamour. Well, money and everything else. Nah, yeah, huh? Yeah, well, well, coach. Uh, last year you ended the season with a comeback win versus Texas Southern. How do you how do you kind of translate that yeah, that momentum, momentum and that, and all of that goodwill that you got in that last game? How do you take that and put that into this season? Well, it's tough. You know, we we try to leave last year's last year, and we try to, you know, I always tell the guys, you know, you can't live off last week. You can't yeah. live off last year. You can't live off. The first drive, you can't live off the first quarter, you can't live off the first half, you can't live off the first game. You have to come back and do it again. Now, if you make a play the first quarter, you gotta make a play in the second quarter. Yeah. You make a play in the first half, you gotta make a play in the second half. You make a play the first week, you gotta make a play in the second week. Just because you win the first week, you can't live off that because you're gonna get beat the next week. Yeah. So you gotta keep improving, you gotta put it behind you. So uh it was a great win. We sent seniors out on the same day with a W. It got us to five hundred in the conference at four and four. 
Um, and so it showed that our guys never quit. The Saints quit, then quit. Nobody quit. Nobody gave up. So we were down three scores in the fourth quarter mm -hmm. and came back and won the football game. So that shows a lot of testing fortitude from our team and our coaches not to give up, not to quit. And we're looking forward to getting taking that on into this year. Yeah, yeah. Coach, I got, I got two more non-football questions. Okay. All right. I know one of your favorite pass signs is called. Yes, sir. Did you see Steph Curry with that hole in the wood? I did. Can you beat him? I can. He can beat me, but I can beat him too. Yeah. He's a good player. And I already beat his daddy. Okay. Oh, okay. Daddy okay. okay. In Charlotte, we was in the same group. And uh, I think his daddy shot 75 that day, and I think I shot uh, 69. Okay. Well, if you could beat the if you could beat the father, you could beat the son then. Right. Now Dale can play. Dale yeah. can play. Steph is real good. I haven't played with Steph. I would love to play with him. He got a great swing. He did a long ways. Yeah. Uh, but I do too. Let me ask you this, Coach. As somebody who's a member of 14,000 Hall of Fames, which one means the most to you? All of them, man. All of them. <laughs> you know, my high school Hall of Fame, it's my high school. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And you go back into your high school Hall of Fame. And the thing about that is this was only the second year of my high school inducting people into our house. Oh, okay, okay. okay. It ain't like they've been doing it. Yeah. Like, man, you're just not going Make in. It even more special. Last year was the first. This yeah. year was the second. And yeah. I went in in the second year of all the years of my high school. And, you, of course, you know, people like Jimmy Ray went to my high school. He went in the first year. And, uh, of course, Robert Bricky went in with me. We both played basketball together on the same team. He went on to do. And uh, so that, that was a great honor, man. And. Uh, then what it means is I had great teammates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then a &T, you know, going to a &T Hall of Fame. Uh, of course, I had played under Bill Hayes. had a great coach. had great players. He was a great recruiter. And, uh, and then going to the MEAC Hall of Fame uh, was, was such a great honor. And um, I'm just humbled to be able to say that I was on a good enough team, had good enough teammates and coaches to be in three Hall of Fame. Thank you. Well, you you a little too humble, Coach, because you you was quite the player yourself too, man. I think I think some of that is on your own merit, though, Coach. Well, I mean, I, I I had to do my part also. You know, you got good teammates, but then you got to still make the plays that's yet to be made. And uh, I was I was blessed and fortunate to have some ability and, and make some plays. And and then I had people that uh, believed in me and to to uh, vote me in in those Hall of Fame. So. Uh, I'm thankful, yes, sir. It was well deserved, too, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, I got one last one for you. You might, this might, <laughs> of all the swag coaches, mm -hmm. who would you pick to be your favorite part? Out of all the swag coaches, <laughs> who would I pick to be my spades partner? Okay, not Willie. Not Willie, because he went to Clemson. He ain't played no space. Uh, let's see. Uh, Eddie Robinson, he ain't. I ain't, I'm not picking Eddie. <laughs> It, it ain't too quiet. You know, you got to yeah. smack yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. There, you go. there you it's go. Like, like, I got you. <laughs> man, I can't pick any. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Uh, he, he ain't played no spades, man. He could be talking about placing Jen Rummy or something. I don't know. Uh, let me see. Uh, who else? Uh, what about Coach Dooley? Dooley? Too, too cute, cute to play spades, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna play no spades, bro. He's too clean. <laughs> You know, so he can't play spades in a suit. That's true. That's, you know that's true. That's true. You gotta put your sweatsuit on. You know. So it looked like it looked like you uh, ain't gonna. I'm, I'm, I might have to go with uh. I might have to go with TC, man. I'm gonna take TC. Okay, you know that's, that's a good. One. That's I'm a good. He's my spades partner, man. And we and we're gonna just run the tape on everybody. Let me ask you: You gonna run Boston? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, would you, would you expect, expect anything else from Coach Lane? He talked about that. I said, I'm going to ask him that question. I said, I bet he said he's going to run Boston. Of course. <laughs> I ain't going to give him nothing. I'm not giving him nothing, huh, Coach? Nothing. And that's game <laughs> when you run Boston. Back to back sets of Boston. Get him, get him up off the table, then, Coach. Give me two points. Appreciate you, Coach. Appreciate you, Appreciate y'all, man. Right, Best of luck.